What is happening guys? Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the channel. So I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is where I'm from. Not where I was born, but where I was raised. And um, we're gonna get into some BMW things, some car show stuff later, but I kinda wanted to show you guys the lake. It's like beautiful. It's like 70 degrees, nine in the morning, set my coffee, waking up to this. Can't go wrong. Check out how cool this little area is. Like live up there, right in front of the water. Medge and I bought a boat and it was named Thick. It's one thing that I definitely miss about Wisconsin is that you're right on Lake Michigan and this lake is so cool to have. Like it's just so pretty. You know, the boats and the harbor and the marina. And the weather is like, it's like 70s. Man, if it was like this year round and they had better roads, I'd still live here. <laughs> Just can't do the winters. It's too much winter. All right, guys, so here is the deal. I honestly didn't really anticipate to make many or any videos at all while I was here in Wisconsin, but a good friend of mine who I grew up with and used to work on cars when we were like kids, he has an LS1 swapped E30 and he's got a few other BMWs. He's got an M3 and a wagon, all sorts of cool stuff. He told me about a car show that is going on. So, of course, naturally, I'm gonna have to go to the car show, and I think he's gonna let me drive his wagon while he drives his E30. I think this would be really cool, it'd be fun content, and plus, like, who doesn't wanna see an LS1 swapped E30? Like, that is sick. So, we're gonna go check out his cars. I'm heading to his place right now. Look at this wagon. So this is a 03 5 Series wagon. Look at how clean it is. It's got M5 mirrors, fold and everything. Um, you'll see that it's manual. Used to be automatic, so he did a manual swap on it. But the most interesting part about this car is he put in a 2001 M5 engine. <laughs> So it has the 2001 M5 motor, 2001 M5 trans, and swapped everything over to manual. Is that not just like the coolest and like most unique setup ever, dude? And this thing is so clean. It's so clean. It makes me want to get into like an older build, like an older BMW build. But yeah, man, this car is goals. Super goals. I'm gonna put all my buddy's information down below, his Instagram handle and everything. Um, you guys can give him a follow because he has some really interesting builds. He's got an E46 M3 build. He's got an E30 with an LS1 swap in it. And he's actually gonna be driving, we're about to head to a car show. He's gonna take the E30 with the LS1 in it and I'm gonna take the wagon. I can't wait to drive this thing, dude. Manual M5 motor in this wagon? Kidding me, dude? Sickest grocery getter ever. So sick. So sick. Super clean too. Like so clean. Such a clean build. Just look at how this is a behemoth. Behemoth. He said the swap was actually relatively easy. Just like the wiring and coating was really the um, like the most intricate part. But in terms of dropping the engine in. Everything like location wise was pretty simple. First of all, it sounds and drives like so good. It sounds and drives so good. I can hear his LS1. Look at this freaking LS1 swapped E30. Oh my God, dude. License plate, he gone. <laughs> So sick. All right, manual fam, so it's gonna be difficult to film and do all that. But dude, look at how dope this little E30 is. 
So sick, dude. LS1 sounds amazing in that car. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that LS1 E30 is, is unbelievable. You guys, it's unbelievable. I can't wait to get some more footage of this car. That one-handed manual grind, bro. <laughs> this car is too fun to drive. Too fun in the grocery getter. Oh my god! Oh my god! This thing is unbelievable! It's so loud! It's so loud! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, dude! What? This thing is mental. This E30 is mental. That's unbelievable. Too much fun, man. Too much fun. So this thing has an M5 suspension in it too. It's got the M5 axles and M5 suspension. Dude, it handles so well. Like it handles so well. Obviously that E30 handles super good too. I also can't get over how good this car sounds. God, it sounds good. God, that E30 is so dope, man. It's so dope. It's such a unique build. Oh my God. Friggin', in, I'm in heaven right now with all this BMW. All right, just pulled up to the show. Naturally, he's got a crowd on this car. This car's so fun to drive. So here's his car. This is John, by the way. So here's his E30 LS1 swap. It sounds so good. It sounds unbelievable. Clean them three. Super clean. This thing is just like a work of art. It's just a work of art. Jeez. So meaty. It's got like the fender flares and shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh. Plus the bike, I got this now. Like, you know, what's Alright, so what do we got? What do we got? 335 gang. E36. Four door. Love the four doors. Super clean. That's the color, right? That color, man. It's wild. It's color, which I can understand not getting that. Old school. Dude, look at this. Alpina? Yeah. Look at that thing, dude. Unreal. Super clean. 36 M3. 46 M3. Thing's super sick. This is awesome. You know, yeah. okay, this is you know mine from my other one, and and these buttons are used, so I'm getting new buttons. And I just put it in. Yeah. yeah it looks really good. Thanks. Yeah, I the inside's dirty. I didn't mean cleaning them. Like I just kind of wiped it down. And stuff. Right. <laughs> I wiped it down, and I was like, I'm just gonna go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was sweating my ass off trying to wipe it down. See yourself trunk. <laughs> Little one series, dude. These are rare. M5.
<laughs> you don't want no smoke, dude. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Dang, dude. Out here. Out here with the cars. Jeez, this thing drives so well, it's unreal. It's such fun cars. And this thing is like converted to M5 everything. M5 diff, M5 everything. Control arms, axles, suspension. Such a unique like purist build. You just don't find a lot of builds like this. The people at the car show were going nuts over this car. <laughs> It's so cool. Oh, dude, got a tunnel coming up. Oh, we got the tunnel, baby. gonna wrap this one up uh, I just want to give a very special shout out to my buddy John Molitor I'm gonna put his Instagram handle right here so you guys can go follow him but John and I go way back I grew up with John we were car guys very early on in our teens and even you know like when the first Fast and the Furious came out we were building cars in our driveways and I even lived with John and a bunch of car guys when I got out of high school just an old, old friend of mine, and it's so good to reconnect with those old friends, especially the ones that share similar passions and hobbies as you do. But John had always built BMWs in interesting fashions. He, um, he had older cars, we put newer motors in them, and that E30 of his has had an E36 M3 turbo engine in it. He's just a great guy who really knows, he's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to BMWs and building cars, and he does all of that work himself. So I just wanted to say a special shout out to John and a huge thank you for inviting me into his, his life today and take me to the car show and leave it to me and my friends to, I'm supposed to be on vacation and of course I somehow end up at a BMW show where I'm reviewing my buddy's car and driving these fantastic vehicles. Um, I just wanted to give him a huge shout out. It's been a uh, it's been a great day to say the least, and I wasn't expecting any of it. I'm really really happy that I decided to meet up with him and make that make that content and go to that show because it was so much fun. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, next up, we are going to the Keys Auto Show this weekend. I'm super excited. It's gonna be so sick. Can't wait to meet all of you. But just like that, this video is over, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,